there are some uh, very large size uh, soft brushes I like to mention um, in the soft category. The grab brush, you use the uh, brush this way. Uh, we do like lotus leaves on a large sheets of paper. And uh, this is a mounting brush. You can also use it for uh, background washes. Um, this one uh, it comes in three different sizes actually. Uh, you can use for uh, direct painting like a bamboo. I did in uh, one YouTube demo, or you can use it uh, as the name suggests the background washes. Uh, it's called flat or uh, haircut brush. Okay, now uh, I like to change to a different uh, category or group. It's uh, maybe called uh, another kind of combination brush in terms of uh, different lengths as in addition to different uh, hair. So you have a hard core which is longer than soft. The soft uh, surrounding brush which serves as a reservoir to hold the moisture uh, while the hard core forms a sharp tip for writing or uh, join the sharp uh, fine strokes. Uh, most uh, typically we have the uh, the red hair brush, little red hair brush. Uh, it's good for uh, gombi and also it's a gombi liner uh, in a very uh, lean and a long sharp tip. It's good to draw the lines uh, and gombi as well as xie yi when you paint uh, fine outlines. With. So these are good uh, liners generally speaking. Uh, classically we have a kind of brush called a uh, qi zi san yang meaning seven purpose three white brush. Uh, we will have it uh, later in our store. And uh, we also consider the, you know, the white cloud. Uh, one of the white cloud brush we have is uh, enhanced hardcore uh, this one then you can you can also uh, consider as part of the two step brush you know with a very uh, sharp stiff hair tip with the in the um, soft hair surround the core, the hard bristle core, and the, the tip is very sharp. Um, basically, it's a combination brush, um, but it's slightly to different lengths also. Finally, I'd like to show you a very special brush. Uh, this is a develop in brush in development, it's a tester. You can see uh, the inside structure, by the way. This is how it's bound uh, by string and then glued uh, to the handle. But th this, type, this, this time, we only use uh, a clipper kind of a handle uh, to hold it. Let's split the bamboo and uh, use the uh, bungee band to hold it. So this shows you the inside structure of the uh, brush and the, the handle. Uh, so you know that uh, there's no uh, there, there's no metal structure like uh, the uh, Western watercolor brush. So you can maybe you know put uh, the brush in the water for a day without uh, worry. In Chinese brush, it's not the case. Uh, if you soak the brush for too long, the uh, glue would, uh, you know, it will cause the 
damage to the heel, the hidden heel in the handle and cause the brush to lose hair. So you don't want to do that. Always clean the brush and blot it uh, right after use. And this is how it look like with uh, this kind of two-step brush I call uh, the sharp tip and the reservoir heel. So the heel is not in use, but it store lots of ink. Um, if you a calligrapher, you will last long time without reload. So the flow of energy continues for a long time. And also good for uh, gongbi, you know, the line. So this, this brush is very useful as a liner. It will last very long. Just use the fine tip and the reservoir.